Hi there guys, so as we know, Anthony Joshua brought in Angel Fernandez into his team for the rematch with Andy Ruiz Jr. And it seems like he is going to be a part of Anthony Joshua's team going forward. He wasn't just here for the Andy Ruiz Jr. rematch, and he has already been taking apart Deontay Wilder and looking at flaws in his game plan and his style as well. But what Angel Fernandez did say is he thought that Deontay Wilder would not have beaten Luis Ortiz had Luis Ortiz been, say, 28 years old. It was age that caused Luis Ortiz's downfall in that fight because he got tired, he got silly, he got greedy and ultimately Deontay Wilder capitalised on that in the 7th round when a little bit of fatigue kicked in and Luis Ortiz got a bit silly and tried to go after Deontay Wilder. Even though he was tired, he came square and Deontay Wilder landed that big punch. This is what he had to say about Deontay Wilder's win over Luis Ortiz. The mistakes are going to be there so you have to exploit that but you also have to take the strengths away. I'm not going to tell you away how I would fight Wilder or how I would not fight Wilder. It's kind of like break him down with the analysis he's done with the team. Bring in sparring partners and then it's like a process. As you see the sparring going, you do adjustments here, some adjustments there, you rewatch the fight again. It's a process. That's how it's been done with Ruiz this time. As a camp, sparring partners, things were changing. I want to do this or I want to do that. And with Wilder, we know how dangerous he is with that right hand. With Luis Ortiz, Ortiz should really beat him. But I think his age plays a big part. I think if Ortiz had been 28 years old, I think he would have beat Deontay Wilder. Wilder boxing wise, I don't think he's got the ring IQ or the intelligence in the ring. But he has just got that one right hand. Tyson Fury found that out. He outboxed him for 12 rounds. And at the last moment, the man only needs one right hand. A fight between Anthony Joshua and Deontay Wilder would be an interesting one and if I'm a part of it, oh my god, I will take it with both hands. It's great for the sport, don't get me wrong, it's great for the sport. And that is something that drives Josh as well to achieve and become undisputed. Every single boxer would want to do that, especially in the heavyweight division. So there we have it, that is what Angel Fernandez has had to say about Deontay Wilder's fight with Luis Ortiz and how they would possibly approach a fight with Deontay Wilder. They understand that he has one big right hand and the fight can be ended at any stage if he lands that shot. It would be silly to go in there with Deontay Wilder believing he does not have power because he obviously does. That is one thing that he does do well. He has a reasonable jab, but he rarely uses it. Not much comes off the jab from Deontay Wilder. So he doesn't have much in the way of boxing IQ, he's not a great boxer, he has one big right hand and that seems to get him out of the jail every single time. It did against Tyson Fury. I mean Tyson Fury still won that fight, but they made a case for him to have the draw because he dropped Tyson Fury twice. Now in the rematch against Tyson Fury, I believe that if Tyson Fury is on form, he will definitely beat Deontay Wilder and I would say he beats Deontay Wilder within the distance. Now, the one fight everyone has been talking about over the past couple of years is Anthony Joshua versus Deontay Wilder but it is very likely that fight won't happen. Now, Angel Fernandez has explained that Deontay Wilder makes a lot of mistakes. He is very open and he's trying to take his strengths away by saying, we'll break him down, see what he does well and see what he doesn't do well. And it seems like Angel Fernandez is only giving Deontay Wilder credit for that one right hand. He is a one trick pony, but it is one hell of a trick. Now, Deontay Wilder seems to always set that right hand up with a jab. He pushes that jab out, not even a hard jab, just pushes that jab out and then comes straight down the pipe with that right hand. That is how he knocked Luis Ortiz out in the second fight. That is how he knocked Dominic Brazil out in the first round. He just pushes out that jab. As I said, it's not hard. He just pushes it out to block the view of the fighter and then brings that right hand in. And it connected against Luis Ortiz and it connected against Dominic Brazil. I don't really know what Dominic Brazil was doing. He tried to catch that jab. I mean, if you watch the fight back again, the knockout. He goes to catch that jab from Deontay Wilder. It's not even a hard punch. It's just him pushing that punch out. And Dominic Brazil goes with both of his hands to block it, leaving himself open for that right hand. I mean, he cannot expect anything else against a puncher. Against a puncher, you don't really need to catch shots on the gloves because they're still going to come through. The power will still be there. Obviously, it blocks some of the power, but not all of it. So ultimately, you have to be slipping and sliding. You have to be moving your head against someone who punches that hard. Dominic Brazil definitely didn't do that. Luis Ortiz was doing okay. He kept his feet just outside of Deontay Wilder. So effectively, he was taking Deontay Wilder's right hand away. That's what he was doing with his stats. If you watch the positioning of Luis Ortiz, he keeps himself where Deontay Wilder's right hand cannot come into play. And obviously, he came square when Deontay Wilder landed that punch in the seventh round and ended the fight. But up until that stage, Luis Ortiz was keeping Deontay Wilder's right hand out of the fight. 
by making sure his positioning was right. Because let's be real, Luis Ortiz, 40 years old, he's not going to be moving his head. He's not going to have reflexes like a 28 year old. So ultimately, he has to be clever with his positioning. And that's what he'd done up until the stoppage. He got silly, got greedy, and he came square and Deontay Wilder took advantage of that. And that allowed Deontay Wilder to bring his right hand into the fight. Now ultimately, I don't know whether Anthony Joshua will ever fight Deontay Wilder. Anthony Joshua will take that fight definitely, whether Deontay Wilder has a belt or not. Deontay Wilder has never really wanted that fight. And I think we can all see that by now. But the fight we can talk about is Deontay Wilder versus Tyson Fury. And in my opinion, Tyson Fury wins that fight, which makes Anthony Joshua versus Deontay Wilder irrelevant anyway, because the only fight that is important then is Anthony Joshua versus Tyson Fury. So obviously Angel Fernandez is looking at Deontay Wilder and seeing what he does well, that one right hand, and seeing what he doesn't do well, pretty much everything. But he has seen the flaws in Deontay Wilder. Guys, what are your thoughts on this? Angel Fernandez pointing out the flaws of Deontay Wilder but explaining he is very dangerous because he has that one right hand. And the funny thing is, he always finds it. Guys, drop your thoughts in the comments below, click the thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. Thanks guys.